Let's go! Good afternoon, I'm Robert Bax. Welcome to Germany, the Nürburgring, and host to the final round of the British Heart Foundation Jenny Telwalt Cup 2022. Once again, we are supporting this incredible charity by raising awareness. You can help if you wish by shopping in their shops or simply donating unwanted items you can spare. I can assure you, together, we are saving lives. The Nürburgring GP was built in 1984 and added on to the original Notch Sleeper, though a mere shadow of its older brother, but it's still described as an old-school track and very popular amongst our drivers, delivering a very challenging lap indeed. The track is 3.2 miles in length, with the longest straight of half a mile and a total of 15 corners. In the penultimate round, Carlos Punterino took the title with incredible style, showing the pace he's had all season, while Brian Messiah and Artie Fanati reminded us while we all love racing with an incredible battle in the final few laps. With just 18 points separating five drivers, the fight for third in the championship is officially game on as we close what has been a very entertaining season as always. In practice, Damon Punterino once again showed incredible pace. His team are hoping to take the team championship in style, but with only two points separating them and Good Alien, it's anyone's guess who will win it. So let's take a look at our grid lineup today after a very exciting qualifying session, which was incredibly close. On pole, we have Carlos Punterino. In second place, Rico Mortis. In third place, Brian Messiah. In fourth, Damon Punterino. In fifth place, Archie Angelo. In sixth place, Wyatt Earth standing in for Frank Hansom. In seventh, Artie Fonati. In eighth place, Alex Anders. In ninth, Hans Bootmacher standing in for Scott Milano, who is away. In tenth, Fabio Dutrelli. In 11th place, Halen Van Eddy. 12th on the grid, Simon Bouquet. And rounding out the grid in 13th, Philadelphia. So let's go down to the track where our ex-race driver and technical guru, Dave Unshaw, is doing our lap focus for the final time in this championship. How's it going, Dave? Ready, thanks, Robin. Here we go with lap focus from the Nürburgring Ring GP as we have our down the street hitting. right back in on itself, easy on the gas as you accelerate around the left hand left to the start of the Mercedes Arena, short burst down the hill and then all the way down into first gear, 60 mile an hour around turn three, onto the right hand for 60 mile an hour second gear and then on the gas, all the way down towards the fourth S, topping the 156 mile an hour in fourth gear before taking the turn in third at 100 mile an hour. To the right hand of Ford, 16 by now, second gear, then on the gas again, flying down towards the Dunlop hairpin, 167 in fifth gear, then hold the brakes down to second, 64 4 mile an hour around the hairpin, on the gas again, building speed up towards the Schumacher S, approaching this at 130 mile an hour in fourth gear, through the left hand end to the right hand there, building speed up towards Everett and RTL. 172 fifth gear, then down to second, 82 mile an hour. Shooting down towards first starter, 86 mile an hour, second gear, then on the gas, all the way up towards Everett Bowman, very first corner, 170 mile an hour, fifth gear for a hair woman, hitting a staggering 183 mile an hour in fifth gear, then slamming on the brakes into the really sharp left hander, clipping the both curves for the NGK chicane at 58 mile an hour, first gear, sharp burst, and then back on the brakes, 69 mile an hour. Second gear around Coca Cola and then hard on the gas down the main straight, crossing the finish line at 142 mile an hour in fourth gear. There isn't a moment to breathe. 21 laps of this is going to be a real hard race. Good luck, guys. Well done, Dave. It is one hell of a lap, I must admit. So as we line up on the grid for the final round of the Ginny Tillwood Cup 2022, sponsoring British Heart Foundation, and we're off. Carlos Puntarino gets an awful start. 
Brian and David, both sides of Rico, swallowing it up down towards Yokohama. Into the turn they go. Can we all get through nice and clean? Alexander's is almost spat out by Fabio Dutrelli. That was a lucky escape. Wyatt Earn goes very wide. Alexander's trying to keep it together, gain some composure. Brian's took off like a scalded cat. Through turn three and into turn four, trying to get a good exit here is absolutely paramount. Alexander's fumping into Hans Bootbacker. Hammering down towards the left under and then into Ford. Artie Fanati got a great start, fifth place, that's awesome stuff. A lot of drivers hoping for a good result out of this so they can get the third place in the championship. We're almost over, folks. This is going to be one hell of a final round. Alexander's trying to look for a way around Artie Fanati. Rico hammering into Schumacher. Up through towards RTL with White Earth for company. Arty Fanati and uh, Alexander's aren't too far behind. Trying to get a bit of space between them. Damon and Brian are clearing off into the distance. Rico gets a good exit down onto the back straight. Heading down towards Adver Bogan. Arty Fanati trying to look for a way around Wyatt Earth. Can he get it done into the education cane? Arty gets the job done. Very good manoeuvre by Arty Fanati. Alexander's having more argy bargy with Hans Bootbacker. Taking a very tight line around Coca-Cola and does Arty Fanati. Down the main straight they go, hitting speeds of 180 mile an hour down from here, folks. Brian and David got a great start, really trying to pull away. Get away from the pack as quick as possible. Artie drops into Yokohama. You can hit that with a hell of a bag if you take it too tight. Brian clearing off, going around the Mercedes Arena. Into the right-hander, gets a good exit. Carlos Puntarino way down in eighth place. Had an awful start, remember? Artie gives uh, Hans Budmacher a bit of a nudge up the rear. Trying to get a good line. Although Carlos has won the championship, he'll still want to put his stamp on the last race. David Puntarino sticking with his uh, teammate Brian Messiah. Can he hold it together this round? Come out of it with a good result. We really hope so for David. Definitely deserves a good result. Absolutely blistering pace in practice. Simon goes wide into the hairpin. Archie Angelo says thank you very much. Up the inside towards Schumacher. Very fast through here, folks. Brilliant bit of track. Up towards RTL and Warsteiner. Looking at Hans Bootmacher, doing a very good job so far in seventh place. Very nice livery he's got. One of uh, Ray Zafra's friends. Standing in for Scott Milano, who's away. Shame Scott couldn't make the final round. I know he would have liked to. Did some fantastic driving all season, did Scott. Into Coca-Cola they go. Carlos Monterino still in eighth place. On board with Alexanders, chasing Wyatt Earth and Artie Fanati. Late on the brakes. That, that was like the parting of the Red Sea. Alexanders dives right up the inside and all those goes between Artie Fanati and Wyatt Earth. Managed to hold that together. That could have been a hell of a shock to Wyatt Earth's system, that's for sure. Into the left-hander, around the Mercedes Arena. Into the really sharp turn four, right-hander. Artie gets a very, very good exit. Pulls some serious distance between him and Alex. Carlos on the back of Hans Bootmacher. Into the right-hander. Down the hill towards the hairpin. Carlos goes on the inside of Hans. Goes wide. Hans pulls it back in and gets him on the cutback. Carlos goes slightly into the gravel trap. Archie Angelo losing a bit of grip behind. Bootmacher takes a lot of curb into, uh, into the Schumacher S's. No relation, by the way. Halen Van Eddy currently running in uh, 10th place. Come on, Halen. Doing a good job. Hammering down the back straight through Advent Bogan. Unbelievably fast part of track. Looks like uh, Carlos Punterino and Archie Angelo are having a bit of a kerfuffle there. Halen goes on the grass, loses traction on the exit, spins out. That's a big mistake by Halen. He'll get going, though. 
Come in, Dave. It's open. Good morning, Dave. I was just watching Ayla Van Eddy spin out. Unfortunate. Oh, I missed that. That's a shame. Did we get a replay or not? No, no replay, unfortunately. Carlos is currently running in eighth position, though, Dave. I was quite surprised, to be honest. It looked like he uh, had a jump start. I, d I could see he was desperately trying to get out of the way of Archie Angelo, who didn't know where to go. Very easy done, Dave, on the start line. The tension is uh, very high. Absolutely. Absolutely, there's a lot of pressure when you're sat there holding onto that steering wheel when we're ready to go. Counting the lights. Looks like Wayne Hurts had a bit of a uh, coming together or something. On the replay. I'll just spat out. Easy done on that exit, Dave. The Mercedes arena is such a slow section, Robin. You just cannot wait to get on the gas. And if you just touch the pedal too early, that's what happens. Some of the drivers say it's almost like you're standing still when you go around the Mercedes arena. Oh, he is. There's no doubt about that. It, it almost, the, the speed you come down that straight, it almost feels like you've stopped when you go into that first section. Very, very slow, but so difficult to get right. Yes, yeah, I can see that. Carlos Punterino's done Archie Angelo. Heading down towards RTL. In they go. Hell of a pace through here, Dave. Very fast section through here, Robin. Unbelievable. It is, uh, some of it's blind as you go in as well. It's a very, very difficult part of the track. It seems like a very start-stop track, to be honest, Dave. Yeah, I would, uh, I would say that's pretty much bang on, Robin. So this is it, Dave. This is the final round of the season. What are you expecting? Personally, I would like to see somebody else take a win. And uh, one of our, our drivers, not just to stand in as Ray Zafra was. That would be fantastic to see somebody else take a win. It's been great to watch Carlos, but to, you know, to see another driver finish the championship on a real high, that would be uh, fantastic. It's always great fun when there's a lot more at stake, especially for the viewers, that's for sure. It is, it is, and that's that's why we all love racing. It's the tension, it's the thrill of the speed, it's the crashes, it's the, you know, the, the mistakes, everything. That's it all put together. It's just amazing stuff. We're on board with Rico Mortis down towards the hairpin. He's attacking Damon Punterino. He must have, uh, Damon's tyres must be going a little bit, I should think, and Rico's very good on tyres. He is holding on to the back of Damon like glue. Gives him a bit of breathing space, though, by the look of it. Down towards RTL. Heavy on the brakes. He'll uh, he'll probably hold a little bit of uh, distance, I should think. If I know Rico, he'll just uh, sit there for a little while and just assess the situation, see what uh, see how Damon's going, getting on, how he's coping, where he can he can capitalise on any kind of mistake that might happen. It's funny how drivers do that. They kind of sit there and just watch their opponent and uh, see where they, uh, you know, go wide or or not so good on the brakes so they can get them on the next uh, next lap. Racing is not all about driving. It's uh, it's a it's very much a thinking game. Great to see Rico having a good race so far, though, Dave. He's had a hell of a time the last few rounds. Yes, he has. He, uh, he has not been good for the last two rounds. He could really do a good result here just to... Uh, you know, let him know that his mojo is still within the vicinity. That can't do it. I, I've seen a lot of drivers, you know, have a couple of disastrous rounds and it really, really knocks the comp, you know, the confidence out of you. It hammers you into the ground like you wouldn't believe. You, you just, you just don't know where you're going wrong and it can be really hard sometimes. Yes, a, a bit of a dusting of some sparkle does, uh, does really help to a driver's campaign, that's for sure. Archie Angelo, he's a bit away for, uh, oh, for heaven's well, sake. Two spectators standing in his marshals down at the Mercedes Arena. Please stop pushing and shoving each other. Your focus on the job would be much appreciated, or you're about as much use as rubber lips on a woodpecker. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My word, where the hell do we get these people from, Dave? I've heard they use that website, Pillocks Are Us, I'm afraid. Things are hotting up in the race, folks. We've got Rico Mortis and David Punterino almost touching bodywork. These pair have been away from each other for a little while, and it looks like to me it's game on. Great stuff to see. 
Damon's holding off Rico, doing a great job. Hammering around Edward Bogan. Into the edge in case they go. Rico gets a good entry. Good exit. All those sticking on the back of Damon, who can get the drive out of Coca-Cola. Damon gets a very good drive, so does Rico. Rico tries to get in the slipstream down towards Yokohama. It's all 185 mile an hour, and then all stop, folks. Hard on the brakes. Rico desperately tried not to bang into the back of Damon. Damon goes wide. Rico goes uh, on the inside. Tries to get right up. He's right on Damon going around the Mercedes Arena. Fantastic stuff. Into the left hand. Uh, on board with Rico. Almost on Damon now. You can get the drive out of the corner. Rico's right on the back of Damon. Put Torino down towards the Ford S. Hard on the brakes. Bay was pulling a little bit of a gap. Can Rico get back on the back of him? Into the left hand, into the right hand. Really hard to get right. Getting the great exit out of here is absolutely paramount. Powering down towards the hairpin. Who's late on the brakes? Damon's quite late, but Rico braked a little bit later. On the back of Damon Punterino in, in a flick of a switch. Trying to go around the outside, up towards Schumacher. It's, it's a good idea to back off a little bit here, otherwise you can send both of you into the gravel trap. Rico does that. Easy into RTL. Very good place for an overtaking maneuver here, though. Somebody gets a bad exit into RTL, you can normally get a good exit out of, uh, out of Vastana. Down the hill they go, up towards Abermogan. Damon's pulled a little bit of a gap, but Rico's in the slipstream. Up towards Education Kane. Very difficult to overtake here. Rico thinks about it, but uh, decides it's not the right time. Hanging on to the back. Oh, they both go in the pits. That was exciting stuff. And now we've got Carlos on the back of Alexander's. Alex heading up towards Coca-Cola. Can he fend off the champion? Tries to keep a tight line. Gets a very good exit. Carlos is right on the back of him, but Archie Angelo's not out of this fight either. Down towards Yokohama. Alex doing a little bit of swerving. He's uh, taunting uh, Carlos, I think. Carlos gets on the brakes, almost tries to dive up the inside, but it's uh, but Alex closes the gap. Into the left hand uh, around the Mercedes Arena. Very difficult part of the track, folks. Don't forget that. Into this left hand, it always feels like you've stopped. Alex goes a bit wide. They all go wide. Can he get a good run out of the right hander and down towards Ford S? He does. Pulls a little bit of a gap back on Carlos. Archie Angelo's poised for a mistake from these, these pair. Down they go towards the hairpin. Alex pulling away. Carlos may be on a different set of tyres. I'm not quite sure. Carlos is right on the back of him now, though. Just definitely laid on the brakes into the hairpin. Up towards Schumacher. Very fast through here. Watch that gravel trap. Into RTL. Carlos is right on the back of uh, Alexander's. Looking for a way around. Alex knows he's there. He'll feel the pressure of Carlos breathing down his neck. Carlos makes a move up the inside and towards the education cane. Lovely maneuver by our champion. Brilliant stuff from Carlos Puntarino. Making his way back up the field after that bad start. Alexander's goes in the pits. Tires are obviously gone on lap eight. Down the straight they go. Back with Simon Bouquet. That was exciting stuff, Dave. I'll have to take a breath for a minute. That was brilliant stuff. That Rico and Damon uh, scrap was uh, great. We'll have some more of that, please. And also that Carlos and Alex was exciting. Oh, this is totting up to be an absolutely fantastic finale. I think it's going to get quite intense towards the end. Don't forget, this is the uh, final round, so uh, everybody is out to impress management and teams. Oh, yes. This could be the race that they remember you for when signing your next contract. Yes, there's a lot of uh, perks that come as being a racing driver, I can tell you. Perks is definitely the word I would have used, Robin. Philadelphia had a uh, brilliant round in Brad's Edge. Showed us all that he's uh, 
He's, he's got what it takes. He just needs to find his rhythm in, the, in, the, in some of these tracks. He was he was really good at Brands, I must admit. Even uh, Rico told me that uh, it was it was great because he couldn't catch Philly. He was really on it, that's for sure. He must like the track. I don't know what it was, but Philly was definitely on it at Brands. Yes, I must admit, uh, you know, some of the fast drivers really do like to see the uh, slower drivers, you know, making progress and uh, becoming a part of the championship and, uh, you know, getting in the fight, basically. They do, and to be honest, uh, you know, it's it's more like a family than a, uh, than a uh, you know, a challenge and a, and, a, and, a, and a competition. A lot of them, uh, you know, uh, really, really do get on very well. They certainly do, and I know Halen and uh, Brian have their moments now and again. It's very funny. Those pair do make me laugh. So, Dave, what's the uh, GT3 Championship coming up next all about? For those of you that don't know, the uh, we did the Podium Series Cup last year, and, um, and that went very well. Uh, we, Rico won it. Um, so similar format, just a different name. We are the Podium GT Cup this year. And uh, basically a GT3 category. Any manufacturer in the GT3 category, but all drivers on the same team must have the same car. So they can share setup and uh, info as, as always, but they must have the same machinery. So it's basically uh, not just a team uh, championship, but also a manufacturer's championship. Exactly. You are racing for your team, but also you are racing for your manufacturer and yourself, of course. When is the uh, proposed start date for that, Dave? The proposed start date for that is, uh, at the moment, the 3rd of April. Um, that depends on how uh, everything goes, really, over the next couple of weeks. Um, so, uh, yeah, can't wait. Me too, Dave. It's always great to start a fresh championship. Great fun. Brian Messiah doing a good job this round, folks. Looks like uh, David Puntarino's trying to get the better of Archiangelo, who's got in the pits. So that was easy job. Brian is right on the tail of his teammate, and it looks like Rico's not far behind again as well. This could be normal service being resumed. Brian thinks about going on the inside, but backs off and lets David take the corner. Very good team uh, strategy. Don't, don't, don't take out your teammate. He could uh, help you win the team championship because these, point, these guys are only two points adrift of good alien. Hope, you know, we'll see who wins this for the teams. But it's very, very close indeed. David looking quite good, quite smooth. Into for the Ford left-hander, into the Ford right-hander, or as I like to call it, the Ford S. And down towards the Dunlop hairpin. Rico's right on the back of these pair now. He's almost with Brian. Got good pace as Rico. His tails will be about halfway gone as well, I should think, because he pinned it on lap seven. Right up behind Brian Messiah, trying to look for a way around, not to let David put Torino get away. Brian goes into the gravels, kicks up the dirt. Rico looks about going down the inside into, uh, into RTL. Looks like he's staying on the outside. Can he get around Brian? There's a little bit of contact. Rico swoops around the outside of Brian Messiah and down onto the back, back straight. Hammering down towards uh, the edgy K chicane. Can he hold off Brian Messiah into the chicane? Brian looks thinks about looking up the inside. Rico goes in early. Brian's trying to get up the inside of Rico into Coca-Cola. Can he make it stick? Rico's laid on the brakes. Gets a good exit out of the corner and pulls away from Brian. That was a close one. Oh, and what the heaven next? Spectators standing in as marshals down at the Mercedes Arena stop fighting. Your focus on the job would be much appreciated, or else we will contact your employer, Pillux R Us, and have you removed from the circuit. Thank you. You're right, Dave. Here they are from Pillux R Us. So we're just over the halfway point in the race, folks. So let's go down to pit lane and see what Jack Tuck's up to. How's it going, Jack? Many thanks, Robin. I'm down here in pit lane talking to Hans of Furberger, head of technical director of Furberger Technologies, about some new ideas they're working on. Hello, Hans of. Nice to see you again. I hear you've been working hard in the lab in California, working on a new project funded by Rico Mortis. Huh? 
Firstly, who told you all such news as this is supposed to be top secret? Well, uh, oh, no. I bet it was that snake David Shaw. Petra, call security. I want the well, upper uh, hand at well, that vent. Well, I don't think it was Dave. I, uh, I heard that on the grapevine. There is no grapevine. He was snooping around here the other day, and he had an empty glass in his hand. I knew he was up to no good, and he also has been trying to get rid of those stupid four-pound notes in the canteen. Alas, saw him in the car park fumbling with his keys, trying to get into that three-wheeled car of his... I want him apprehended at once. As we say in Skypants, we need to get to the bottom of this. Let's go, let's go, fully Lord, call in the twat team. Go, go, go! Oh, no, Robin, I think I've dropped Dave right in it. Back oh. to you. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, Dave. Uh, what's, who's the twat team, Dave? Oh, no, those guys are all special forces. It stands for territorial weapons and tactics. I've got to get out of it. I can't stay for very long, Robin. Why are you whispering, Dave? They can't hear you in here. And, uh, yes, uh, if you could just stay for a little bit longer, that'd be much appreciated. But if I were you, before long, I would make yourself scarce. I've said way too much already, and yes, why am I whispering? So for now, folks, back to the race. Looking at Wyatt Earth chasing Simon Bouquet in six. And Rico Mortis and David Punterina look like normal service has been resumed. Rico right on the back of Damon again, running in first place. Lap 13, I would imagine. Uh, I don't know if Rico's doing a two-stopper, but he would almost be uh, on the end of his tire life, I would have thought. Rico looks to get on the outside into the NGK hairpin. Can he get the job done? Swoops all the way around Damon Punterino. Fantastic stuff from Rico Mortis. Damon losing a little bit of grip on exit. Gives Rico a bit of breathing space. Up towards RTL, Brian Messiah's almost on the back of his teammate now, too. Brian Messiah's look what sweeps on the inside of David Punterino, his teammate. Puts David back in third place. Got a replay with Wyatt Earth. Oh, he's letting Carlos and Archie through. Good stuff. Back with Carlos and Archie. Carlos right on the back of Simon Bouquet. Carlos will be able to look through the glass and see the whites of Simon's eyes, I should think. Down into the NGK chicane. Carlos right on the back of Simon now. Simon doing all he can. Saturn will be stood up in the box clapping. Alex does a great job overtaking Artie for Artie. Superb stuff. Puts Alex in third position. Brian Messiah must have got into the pits, I would have thought. Back with Alex and Artie. Artie desperately trying to get onto the back of Alexander's, but it may well be futile. Alex has got a hell of a gap already. Alex doing a fantastic job. He's really putting the pressure on Artie for Donnie. Pulls out one hell of a gap. Out of the hairpin and up towards Schumacher. Artie would like at least a top five result in this race, I know. He's one of the five drivers of the challenge for third position, Dave. Yes, he is. He is. I think there are 18 points separating five drivers, all fighting for the third position. So if anybody crashes out, like so if, if Rico crashes out, that could very well give the position to uh, one of five. So anything could happen, basically, as Rico goes in the pits. Anything could happen, Robin. It just takes one mistake by any of those five drivers, and uh, that could be uh, the third place on the championship. Out of reach. Helen Van Eddy, haven't seen him for a while. Made a few mistakes on this round, unfortunately. Just bring it home, Halen. As he dives into the chicane. Looks like uh, Hans Bootbacher is also in 11th place. Obviously, uh, finding uh, the settings uh, a bit difficult. Philadelphia running at 12th at the back of the grid. Most worth mentioning as well, folks, that uh, Fabio Dottrelli has retired. I think he retired quite a while ago as well, Dave. I think Fabio retired around lap five or six, um, obviously having uh, some technical difficulties. We all know what they're like. That's not great. Poor Fabio, never mind, not a great end to his season. Hopefully he'll come back fighting in the uh, podium GT3. Billy Delphia coming into NGK. 
definitely needs to uh, find some uh, teammates for next season or join one of the existing teams. He does, I think, uh, if Philly joined a, uh, one of the uh, higher, you know, higher ranking teams, he would probably get the support he needs and, uh, you know, the, uh, the uh, coaching possibly to uh, get himself further up the field, which is what we'd all love to see. We would love to see that. Philly really does put the effort in and, you know, turns up week in, week out. He uh, definitely needs a bit of a, uh, you know, uh, help, I think. Never turn down any help, Robin. I always used to say, if any, if I could find anything from anybody that would help my, uh, you know, driving abilities, I, uh, I would grab it with both hands. That's Bert Backer standing in for Scott Milano. Seems he's a very good driver, Dave. It'd be great if he uh, joined the championship for next season. Who knows? He does seem uh, pretty smooth. He, you know, this is a hard championship to just jump in and expect to do really well on the first first race. You know, it takes a while to get used to our tyres and get used to our, uh, you know, fuel settings and all that sort of stuff. I think next season uh, you'll see Archie Angelo and, uh, you know, a lot of the others fighting at the front of the pack. It's going to be what a hell of a ride, I can tell you, folks. I think it will too, you know, the more and more practice they do on these settings, the better they get. A warning to the two rubber-lipped woodpecking marshals from Pillocks are us. Security are on their way to escort you from the circuit. Your services will no longer be required. Probably best if you make a run for it. Thank you. Oh, no, I just can't believe this Tanoi guy. Rubber-lipped woodpecking <laughs> from from uh, from Pilatsaras. That's just a made-up website, isn't it, Dave? No, that's a real website, Robin. Well, they must be right Pilots to sign up to the website, I can tell you. Oh, dear. Anyway, folks, back to the race. Rico is coming up behind Archie Angelo, trying to make a way through the education gate. David Potterino shoots up the inside, pushes Rico onto the grass, makes his way around Coca-Cola on the back of Archie Angelo. Rico will be rolling his sleeves up and saying, right, that's it, gloves are off. Robin, I have just heard that Hansoff and the Twat team are on their way up. I'm going to go, folks. Take care, bye, see you in the podium, GT. Run for it, Dave. Go on, save yourself. That's Dave much your folks making a quick exit. Archie Angelo steps aside, I think, to let Rico through. He's not interfering with the championship. That's good stuff from Archie Angelo. Rico is hot on the heels of David Puntarino. He's got a huge target on his back now. Into the left-hander they go, down into the right-hander of the Ford SS. Down towards the Dunlop hairpin. Rico almost on the back of David. Can he get a good uh, a good action on the brakes here and get right up behind him? Closes the gap a little bit. David doing all he can to hold Rico off. Knows he's coming. Brian's well in the distance. This could be a, f a win for Brian Messiah. We all hope so. Our fingers are crossed. Rico desperately trying to get any little bit, little bit of speed. He's almost on the back of David now going into RTL. Starting the drop down into Varsteiner. Getting a good exit here for Rico, who will be absolutely on his bucket list. Down they go towards Edward Bogan. Into the left hand. Uh, Rico trying to get on the back of David. Will he make the move into the chicane? Thinks better of it. Backs off a little bit. Going down towards Coca Cola. Getting a great exit out of here. Will be absolutely paramount to put Rico in a position to overtake. Carlos Punterino's just up the road, too. He'll be defending. Carlos Punterino drops into Yokohama. Doing all he can to get a good result out of this. Not that it matters much for Carlos. He's already our champion. Around the Mercedes Arena he goes. All the while, Rico and uh, Damon are closing in. There's three and a half laps left, folks. Can Carlos hold them off? I'm not sure he can. They're closing rapidly now. Damon is almost, almost within striking distance of Carlos Punterino, and Rico's right up uh, Damon's jacksey. Down the hill towards the Dunlop hairpin. Almost on the back of Carlos now. 
Will Carlos do uh, some defensive driving or will he uh, let them go? We'll have to see, folks. Rico's right on the back of Damon. Damon's almost on the back of Carlos. Into the Schumacher S as they go. Flying up towards RTL. This is going to be no or never for Rico. Only three and a half laps to go. Can he get past Damon and take the second place? Damon's right up behind Carlos Punterino. Carlos steps aside and lets him through. That's very good of Carlos. Brilliant stuff. He knows that he's already won the championship. He's letting them go. Rico backing off again into the NGK chicane. He's not, uh, he knows it's not a great place to overtake there. Looks like Damon might be losing a little bit of tire grip there. Did a little bit of a snake coming out of the chicane. Rico doing all he can, trying to get in that slipstream. Damon swooping over to the right hand side of the track to not let Rico in his slipstream. Rico just fixed, I'm not gonna bother with that. On the brakes down in Yokohama. Can he get up beside Damon? He's almost on Damon Punterino. Damon's tires are definitely in a worse shape than what Rico's are, that's for sure. Can Rico go down the inside into the uh, Mercedes Arena? Fix better of it. Damon takes a very tight line indeed, very defensive. Blocks all the exits for Rico, there's no way through. Losing a bit of grip here and there. Damon's struggling a little bit for tires, I feel. Rico's right on him, we all know how good Rico is on tires. Can he make this happen? Brian looks like he may well have taken the first position, provided he doesn't bid it. Rico is right on the back of David Punterino, down into Dunlop. Who's good on the brakes? Will Rico try and go around the outside again? David blocks him. There's no way through. Rico tries to go on the inside. Still no way through. Takes a wide line out of Dunlop hairpin. And up towards the Schumacher S's. Doesn't back off too much this time. Tries to stay on the back of David so he can get the run down the uh, back straight into Alfred Bogan. Into the left-hander, RTL, and down to the right-hander, Ravarsteiner. Rico gets a good exit. He's right on the back of David Puturini. Can he make this happen now in the slipstream? Down towards the NGK chicane. Can he make it stick? Rico looks up the inside. David blocks him off. Tries to go around the outside. David still blocks him off. Almost side by side into the NGK chicane. Never going to work and never going to be a good outcome, folks. Rico backs off a little bit just to get around the Coca-Cola hairpin. Gets, uh, you know, tries to regroup and uh, collect his thoughts and try to find a way through. Can he make it work? Down they go, down the main straight. 180 miles an hour, folks, before they bam it on the brakes. Rico's right on the back of Damon now. Can he get the job done? Damon goes wide. Rico takes a tight line to get a better exit into the, into the left-hander. Damon put Torino on board. Looking at Rico in the rearview mirror. Can he get, can he hold him off? Rico dives down the inside into the left-hander of the Mercedes Arena. What a lovely maneuver. Don't think there was any contact either. Perfect setup for Rico Mortis. I think he might have saw that coming, I'm not sure. Absolutely fantastic stuff. That puts Rico into second place. Back with Artie Fanati and Alex Anders. Artie is hounding the back of Alex. He wants that sixth place. Artie Angelo holds, trying to hold them off. Alex Anders dives down the inside. Gets the job done on Artie Angelo. I think he stepped back to let them both through. Not sure, but I think Artie's tires are also at the end of their life. Down they go, into the Dunlop hairpin. Artie's still hanging on the back of Artie Vanati. I'm not sure he did let him through. Artie loses a bit of traction on exit. Up towards the Schumacher S. Can Artie Fanati make it and get into the top five? Artie running in sixth place. Artie Angelo definitely on uh, pretty bad shape to shape tires. Very hard track to drive when your tires are knackered, folks. Archie's been doing a good job though. Seventh place is no shame there. Back with Wyatt Ernst, standing in for Frank Handsome. In ninth place, chasing Simon Bouquet. Can Simon bring home eighth place? It'll be good. He's been away for a bit, so he's a little bit out of practice. But hopefully, uh, he will uh, bring home eighth for Team FX. Wyatt Ernst closing in. That's for sure. On the final lap now, folks. The final lap of the Jenny Tilwood Cup. Back with Artie Fanati, still chasing Alexanders. Made that move a few laps ago and uh, held his position. Good on Alex. If he brings up top five, that's an awesome job. 
Artie will hope we'll have to settle for sixth place. He'll be a bit miffed about that. He wanted a top three. Brian Messiah doing the final lap. Coming down towards the AGK chicane for the final time. The final lap of the final race of the Jenny Tillward Cup 2022 season. Supporting the British Heart Foundation as we always do. Brian comes around Coca-Cola for the final time. Just bring it home, Brian. Job done, well done, Brian Messiah. A brilliant first place. Great show of strength. Rico takes second place and a great job for David Punterino getting his first podium. Carlos Punterino brings it home in fourth. Great result considering that awful start he had. Alexander's in fifth and Artie Fanati in sixth. Almost hits Carlos Punterino on the track. Archie Angelo brings it home in seventh. Great job, Archie. And Simon Bouquet and White Earp in eighth and ninth, respectively. Brilliant stuff. All doing their victory spins. And Halen Van Eddy coming home in 10th place. Doing his victory smash your car up job. And Hertz Bootmacher brings it home in 11th. Looks like he might have run out of fuel, I'm not sure. And rounding out, Philly Dilf here. Not sure what Philly's doing here. I think the sat nav might have gone wrong. Oh, he's reversing over the line. Maybe he was a breach buff. Who knows? If you, know, if you don't know what that means, it means us first. Congratulations to Brian Messiah for an incredible victory. With Rico Mortis in second and David Punterino joining them with his first podium in third. So let's take a look at the final championship results after all seven rounds. At the top of the table is Carlos Punterino on a staggering 199 points. Brian Messiah in second with 144 and Rico Mortis finishing in third on 97 points. Artie Fanati on 82 points. David Punterino 81. Scott Milano 66. Fabio Natrelli 62. Halen Vanetti on 53 and Artie Angelo on 39 points. Alexander's also on 39 points. Frank Hansom on 32, Simon Bouquet 27, Vincent Carrasco on 25, Philadelphia 24, Raphael Doubtfire 21, and finally Timo McKinley on 16 points. So let's take a look at the team table and find out who our winners are. Congratulations to Team Simitech for winning the team championship with a whopping 216 points. Good Alien in second place with 199. Affinity Racing on 170. Team Airfix on 136. And Sky Comedy on 53 points. Once again, congratulations are in order to Carlos Ponterino in winning this year's Jenny Tillward Cup, making him a double champion in our events so far. And big congratulations for Team Simitech for winning the team championship. Brian, Halen and Damon did a fantastic job. So that's it, folks. We start the Perdium GT3 Championship in early April, so stay posted. But for now, from me and Dave, who is officially on the run, many thanks for watching. Take care and goodbye.